Hi everyone, welcome back to Fan Funk O'Neill here. And I'm Stax. Uh, this weekend we went to the Niagara Falls Comic Con. Uh, it was pretty exciting. We were Funko hunting. Uh, we met Top Pops, bought some pops from him, and we each also got a big grail for our collection. Oh yeah. So uh, I yeah. guess first we'll start start with Top Pops. At his booth there was a $15 mystery bag. And in my mystery bag I got Deadpool as Bob Ross, which I actually really wanted because I like painting and I like Bob Ross, so that one was fun to get. And in her bag, she actually won a free pop. A free, yeah. It said $5, but then he changed his to $10 pop, so I got to pick this one, Sneezy, to start the Snow White collection for free, which was awesome. Uh, I actually ended up picking up a total of three mystery bags from Top Pops. I was there Friday and Saturday. Uh, geez. I got Sabretooth in one of my bags. So that's pretty cool from the X-Men. I don't collect the Marvel Pops. I like the Hero ones, but still a cool pop. Uh, I also got, this one I got on Friday... I got the Pinhead uh, Glow in the Dark Hot Topic exclusive. From Hellraiser 3. Yeah, Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth. Film I've never actually seen, but I've seen the first Hellraiser. Might have even seen the second one. And then my other pull, which was a really good pull. I got the Ramona Flowers from Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Pretty excited to pull this. Even uh, Top Pop's mom was excited to <laughs> see this pulled. And uh, yeah, pretty happy with the uh, mystery bags. Also, uh, my cousin Char also picked up two bags herself. Yeah, and she got only at Target, Target Insane Snowball from The Secret Life of Pets. Cool Which is a cool one. He he's cute because he's really small. I like that. He'd look really good out of box, I think. And in her second one, she got New York Comic Con exclusive Boris the Wolf from Bendy and the Ink Machine. It's a really cool uh, New York Comic Con sticker on that one. Yeah, it's clear, yeah. so that's really cool. Yeah, I really like that one. Uh, so, that's everything we got from Top Pops. Actually, I also picked up a t-shirt from Top Pops. Yeah. Trying to support them. Um, so, also... And he also had these, um... Awesome. I think it was cool. He had the... He had these really cool cards that he made. And he, he his mom gave this one to me. And they're really good made. I was impressed, actually. About everything from Top yeah. Pops? Yeah. So on Friday night, I also picked up the Catwoman Chase. Paid 20 Canadian for it. Just trying to finish off my bombshells. This was one I was still missing. So, happy to add that to the Heroes Collection. And then I also picked up my Batman 1989. This is one... I should have just pre-ordered, but assumed I'd be able to find it easily around here, and that has not been the case. So I love those black boxes. Yeah, and this one now with the silver, and this is my favorite Batman movie of all time. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're big. Michael Keaton, in my opinion, was definitely the best Batman. But yeah, very happy to just finally add that. Nice extension to your and you huge DC collection. Drop what else you picked up? I picked up my first pickup at the con was this Jack Skellington, which is a grail for my Nightmare Before Christmas collection, just because of the details on him and just because I love the movie. And, do you want to go next? Okay. okay. Um, and I didn't pick this one up at the con, but I got this Steve to go with what I did pick up at the con, which was the very controversial Baskin Robbins exclusive Steve, which I was very happy to pick up both of these. 
because now I have both versions. That's awesome. And that's a grill for my collection, so. Mm -hmm. That is. Yeah. And then my last pickup was something I've been looking for for a while. Oh, yeah. My Wayne Gretzky Chase. I now officially have all the Wayne Gretzky Funkos. And I also already had the Sidney Crosby Chase, so happy to have the hockey chases. And finally came across this at a price that I was comfortable paying. So, very happy to add this to my collection. This was a big get for me. Oh, yeah. So, overall, we had a lot of fun at the Comic-Con. Yeah, it was awesome. So I, many pops. Yeah, I highly re recommend the Niagara Falls Comic-Con, or any Comic-Con. Yeah, really. But, uh... Yeah, thanks for watching and make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell for when you want to be notified for our new videos. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see you next time. Catch Bye you down guys. The road.